All right. Hey, everybody. It's Kelly Williams with the Kelly Beam Show and your home TV. And we are live again today on Radio Row in Las Vegas for Super Bowl week. And my amazing guest this morning is Mike Brodsky. And you're going to find out more about him in just a minute after this commercial break from one of our sponsors. Serendipity Yacht Cruises and Events wants you to come party with us in 2024. Mark your calendar for Saturday, May 4th, because we're calling all Star Wars fans with a costume contest and an awesome Star Wars prize. Then on Saturday, August 10th, it's a Hollywood night of dreams with music, games, contests, and surprises. Both parties will be at the beautiful South Shore Harbor Resort with amazing food, fun activities, live entertainment, and a cash bar, plus some additional surprises. Saturday, May 4th, and Saturday, August 10th. Come party with us. S-Y-C-E. More than a yacht, it's serendipity. All right, we're back. All right, good morning, Mike. Good How morning, are Kelly. you? Doing great. I'm so excited to have you on the show today. Thank okay, you. so guys, Mike is a financial advisor, author, actor, speaker, philanthropist, and sports journalist. And I'm exhausted I, just reading that. I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> yes, that's right. Thank I you. love that for you. So, um, tell me a little bit about how long. Have you been doing all of these things like for a while? <laughs> like all my life, I guess. Well, yeah. the the, uh, the the media stuff, because I know we're here on Radio Row, right? Exactly. So sports journalism is probably going to be, I'm guessing, <laughs> maybe the focus of today's interview. But uh, I've been in media. I started in media uh, really right out of school. I was a, a news producer with the NBC affiliate in West Palm Beach. Oh, how fun. Uh, yeah, and did that for a little while. But uh, around the time I was getting married, decided maybe it was time to get, uh, get a real job that <laughs> a little better uh, to help to pay for a family and that kind of thing. So I did switch over and became a financial advisor. I've been doing that for a long time. And I had a great opportunity in 2019. Uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Mike Dixon, who runs Vegas Sports Daily, uh, got me a media pass to cover the Pro Bowl practices when they came to Orlando. Oh, how and, so, fun. and it was it was a great opportunity. And the funny thing was, it was my first day back in media after having been out for a couple of decades. And all of a sudden, here I am with all these players, and he gave me one assignment, and as a result of it, it sort of led to a story that, and I, I, I broke a story that got picked up by ESPN, TMZ, and Bleacher Report, what? and that kind of pulled me back into this whole thing yeah. uh, that I've been you doing You keep lately. trying to get out, and yeah, they, they pull, pull you me back, back in. in. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. So. Was media something you kind of always dreamed of when you were younger? You know, I, I was always very interested in theater and acting. Did a lot of it growing up. I, I see to, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you've got just great presence. So I believe that. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that, <laughs> Kelly. Uh, so basically, I did a lot of theater growing up. I went to uh, Stage Door Manor Performing Arts Training Center from when I was 14 to 17, which a lot of people know about. So wow. um, that was kind of fun. And did a lot of theater when I was an undergraduate at Yale University. Wow. And... Um, uh, you know, when I, when I was young, I did a, I was an extra in a movie. And so because of any, any fans of the, the uh, Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon game, my bacon number is two. But I will what? say the three path sounds a little cooler. That's, that's another story. But basically, um, yeah, so I did a lot of theater growing up. And even more recently, I've had some opportunities to get little tiny roles in local films in Orlando. Like, I, I can't be flying out, you know, leaving my job for a month to go shoot something in Hollywood. But... <laughs> If something is in Orlando and I can shoot like for a few hours on a weekend or something like that, I'm there. So oh, that's uh, fine. Yeah. So my yeah. IMDb page, actually, my my star meter's been on the rise lately. So <laughs> check me out on IMDb, Mike Brodsky. You'll, you'll see it there. I love it. So how yeah. has your wife enjoyed and kind of watched you kind of progress? Um, back into the media side and then more acting and things like that. What does she think about all this? Um, I think she sort of tolerates it. You know, she <laughs> she she comes along. This she did come along. We had a, a screening of a movie that I did called Melt on This Music recently, uh, and that was a fun little role. Daisy Del Toro uh, uh, is making that. She's the niece of Guillermo Del Toro. And uh, anyway, and so my wife came to that. And she actually enjoyed my performance. Said, "Wow, you were actually good." <laughs> Hey, so she was kind of surprised. Really yeah. Good. yeah, and uh, with the sports journalism, I think she tolerates it. She knows that I kind of run off to go cover maybe Jaguars games or week of Super Bowl. I'm here for uh, you know this kind of thing, doing all this sports journalism stuff. So week of Super Bowl is just incredible. Yeah. And the last couple of years, she did not want to come along. She said, "You go do your thing." But yeah. she, she heard it was Vegas and said, "I'm there." So she's <laughs> exactly. she's running around doing Vegas, and I think we're actually going to be able to pull her on a radio row. Oh, uh, good. Maybe Friday anyway. Good. Maybe tomorrow yeah. and Friday. Honey, sure. go do your own thing. I've, yeah. I've got my own. <laughs> Stuff right here That's in right. Vegas. We've That's had a lot of fun at nights. I mean, you know, oh, we yeah. all, we've had great experiences uh, so far. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so you have been 
you've written a couple of books. Yes. Which are very yes. cool. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about those. Sure. So uh, the first book that I had written was called Incremental Improvements, Change Your Life One Small Step at a Time. It was oh number God. one on Amazon's personal transformation list. Wow. And if you go to uh, incrementalimprovements.com, you can actually download the PDF version for free. Oh, nice. For free. And uh, the second book is called Fourth Down and Dam, a lineman story. The autobiography of Leon Searcy is told by Mike Brodsky. And um, Leon, for those who don't know who Leon is, Leon is a three-time national champion with the Miami Hurricanes. He was the first first-round draft pick of Bill Bill Cower when Bill Cower started coaching the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wow! And then he became a free agent with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And uh, basically, at the at the time in the late '90s, was the highest-paid offensive lineman in the NFL. And somehow managed to retire, broken twice, divorced. One of those stories you hear yeah. a lot, maybe too often in Absolutely. the NFL, right? Absolutely. But uh, there is a happy ending. He's doing pretty well now as a radio host up in uh, Jacksonville. His show is uh, one of the top twenty in the in the midday market wow. around the country. Uh, we just got word about that recently. And yesterday, I had a fun fun experience with Bill Cower at one of the one of the press conferences here, where I asked Bill about his memories of, of Leon, and he had great things to say about Leon, Aww. of course. But the book, Fourth Down and Dam Alignment Story, it's available online, of course, at Amazon. And the audio book uh, is available on Audible. It's my voice. Leon does the forward. And Leon also tells an hour's worth of bonus material, some stories that didn't make the book. Oh, my goodness. But if you want to hear the story, that's my voice reading the book because Leon didn't want to read the whole book. I, I read the book. Yeah. <laughs> but then Leon, Leon's bonus material is really fantastic. So if you even if you read the book, get the audio book because there's a lot of other great stuff in there. Oh, that sounds awesome. Um, okay, what do you think, what, what have you enjoyed most about this year on Radio Row? You know, it's just amazing. Everywhere you look, and this is now my fifth time doing Radio Row, wow. and every year it's just it's just this amazing experience. You never know who you're going to see floating around. Yeah. You've got so many big stars and Hall of Famers, and, yeah. uh, and being in Vegas, of course, you've got a lot of entertainers roaming the room, singers, I mean, you know, actors, comedians, etc. It's everywhere you look. It's just one surprise after the other. Yeah. And this is your first time on Radio Row? Or? It's my first time. I'm so <laughs> excited. So, so yeah. Do, what tips do you have for me? You know, I would just say keep your eyes open. I'm sure yes. you are. I yes. mean, has it been a, a, an amazing experience for you so far? It's, I mean, I just get ex more excited by the hour. Right. You right. know, it's really yeah. incredible. It really is. And, and, you know, I think just enjoy the experience. Be open. I mean, just you don't worry about sleep. You can catch up no. on sleep later but you know for now just every waking moment yeah. try to take advantage of everything that's going on it's a whirlwind it's overwhelming yes but it's what an amazing experience it is very cool where do you see um what you're what you're doing with all of these incredible things that you have been blessed to do yeah where, where do you see yourself in five years what are some of those goals wow uh you know basically it, it, as a financial advisor, you know, fortunately, that business does keep growing, and, and that's really yeah. what we're able to help, help finance all of this, I guess. But, um, you know, I hope to be able to continue to do uh, some of the sports journalism and just for fun, you know, to be able to do things like week of Super Bowl or an occasional golf tournament in Orlando or that's cover fun. the Orlando Magic uh, media days and things like that. Or, uh, you know, I've just had some uh, amazing opportunities to do fun things. So I'd I hope those opportunities continue. Um, but uh, and maybe a couple more interesting film roles if they, if they become available. That yeah. would be great to do. <laughs> and uh, I'm just enjoying this whole journey, one one day at a time, one step at a time. Uh, you know, kind of following my incremental improvements philosophy, basically. But uh, you know, I'm just kind of rolling with it. I love it. Do you have a favorite sport that um, you kind of you know that, that is more fun for you to cover you than know, others? I would say football is a lot of fun to cover. Yeah. Um, but I know my son and I are big basketball fans. We have yeah. season tickets for the Orlando Magic, so oh, you know, that's all. That's fun. That's you know, we really enjoy fun. that. I've always been a big baseball fan. Yeah. So it's 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 like picking your favorite child. You can't do it. I mean, there are a lot of great sports, really. And, <laughs> and that's I, a no-no. No, no, especially no, in your. <laughs> yeah. We have two kids, and I love them equally. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. But um, no. So it, it's uh, I I like a lot of sports, and uh, you know, I think. Um, uh, this has been just an amazing experience. This whole Radio Row thing, the Super Bowl experience every every year, opening night. Were you at opening night? Yes. Over there, wasn't and that wild? It was amazing. Yeah. The yeah. stadium is yeah. phenomenal. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. I thought they really did it. it. It went very smoothly. Yes. Didn't you think? Yes. Especially because yes. you're a pro with this. Um, I was I was very pleased actually. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. I mean, my my first Super Bowl was down in Miami, and I remember doing opening night there. 
Um, wow. You know, then there was a, a lull where they didn't do it for a couple of years because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And then even last year, I arrived too late, so I missed Arizona. So yeah. it was good to see it again. And it's, it's it, yes, it is very well organized, and there's a lot going on. Again, everywhere you look, there's like another experience, right? You got yes. Blue Man Group is floating over here. Carrot <laughs> yeah. Top's over here. Bert Kreischer's over there. Yeah. And it was like you know Guillermo from Jimmy Kimmel is, is asking questions. It was it was incredible. I mean, it's just it's this whole whirlwind of things happening yeah. all around you every it was amazing yeah. okay so tell us real quick on in your acting yeah. has there been um somebody really that you've really enjoyed working with because you've gotten to do a lot of fun things <laughs> yeah you know it one of the cool things that i got to do was L leah thompson from back to the future I, with, yeah. she's one of my favorites <laughs> really i just oh, loved God. her all the way through from when she was young yeah i mean i when I was at uh, Duke getting my MBA, I started up a sketch <laughs> comedy show. <laughs> You're like really smart I, well, doing all of these colleges and universities. <laughs> Yale and Duke. Yeah, yeah. I paid for those diplomas. But yes, yes. It's, it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Good yeah. investment. But um, basically, I started up a sketch comedy show when I was at Duke, Duke University's business school, the Fuqua School of Business. I started up a sketch comedy show yeah. called Fuqua Vision. <laughs> it's still going. It's what? still going. And so one of the early sketches that we had done was called Back to Fuqua, of course, based on Back to the Future. 25 years later, we got the whole cast together for one of our reunions to do a, like a, a sequel, right? No. And so I was somehow able to convince, I don't know how I did it, but I convinced Leah Thompson to make a little cameo at the end of that sketch. And that, she was awesome. That's she hilarious. Awesome. That's so funny. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Well, what, what are your plans the rest of uh, radio? We have a lot of interviews coming up yeah. with Florida National News. Check out floridanationalnews.com, wow. yeah. or you can check out my Instagram, Mike underscore Brodsky. You'll see a lot of that. Okay. And uh, uh, also, you know, you can also check out my, my, my link tree probably has links to everything, everything you want to get access to. Uh, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E -E slash Mike Brodsky, M-I-K-E-B-R-O-D-S-K-Y. Uh, my link tree, Mike Brodsky, and you can see everything. I'm up to all in one place. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. So it's very exciting. Um, is that where they can find and buy your books? There are links to the books as okay. well. If that's easier, yeah, go to the link tree. Um, but you can all, if you want to try to search Mike Brodsky on Amazon, I should come right up as well with those yeah. two books. But yeah, link tree's got everything all in one place. Yeah. All right. Mike, yeah. thank you for sitting yeah, down with us today. You, I am Kelly. so excited. Yeah. Okay, now I have a little parting gift for you. Ah. Uh, our sponsor, Serendipity Yacht Cruises and yes. Events. Want you to have this power bank so you can stay powered all uh, all week. That's um, really amazing. How cool is that? This is cool. I mean, it, one of the biggest challenges you're gonna—I'm sure you've already seen—is keeping yeah. your phone charged, right? You're taking so <laughs> many pictures, so many videos. My phone gets down to like you know, I'm at eight percent, and I gotta like charge the thing up before I, you know it's gonna die, and that's like at noon. So yeah, exactly. it's a, right. I mean, it's crazy. Yes. So thank you. This is, it a is great crazy. Gift. I appreciate you're that. welcome. Thank you so much. It's so nice to thank meet you. Thank you. Kelly. You're it's been amazing. Been a oh, all right, you. guys. Look up Mike Brodsky. He is incredible. You will love everything about him and make sure you get his books. Okay, guys, you can stay tuned for more interviews right here on the Kelly Weems Show and your own TV. We're live from Radio Row in Las Vegas for the Super Bowl week. We'll see you soon.